friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about how to fill your time when you are single. This is something that uh, does not come naturally to me. I think it used to and then I was in a relationship for three years and I forgot how to fill my time alone. And so now I'm trying to explore that again. To be honest, I have been single for about six months now. Wow. And in that six months, I don't think I've spent more than a couple of hours alone. The day that I went through a breakup, I went straight to my parents' house and just simply did not leave. And so I have been, you can call it living with them if you want. I call it staying with them because it's more temporary sounding. But yeah, I've been staying with my parents and just refusing to be alone. But this weekend, they are out of town. I am in Florida at their place in Florida and I have this whole weekend and a couple days ahead of me just all alone. So I'm trying to figure out how to best spend my time in a way where I'm not going to feel lonely and in a way that makes my life feel, I don't know, purposeful, I guess. Um, I think for me, especially you can struggle as a single person to feel like your life has like purpose when you aren't spending it with someone or you don't have kids yet. I've heard that when you're single, you should have your life be so full that when someone else comes into the picture, you have to move stuff around for them. Like you shouldn't leave your a space in your life for someone else to fill. You should have to move things when they come into the picture. I do not agree with that because I really want to get married and have kids. And that's like my greatest heart's desire. So being single basically just feels like I'm biding my time until that happens, to be honest. So I'm trying to take steps to make my life feel less like that and more like, okay, yeah, I'm single, but like I still have stuff going on. So that is what this vlog is going to be about is how to fill your time as a single person without someone to share your time with. So we will see what we get up to over the next couple days. And thanks for following along on the journey. All right, first up on the weekend agenda, I'm gonna go on a run. I've been sitting at my desk all day, so it'll be good to get up and move. And I've heard that exercise is good for your mental health. I've seen no evidence of that in my life, but you know, gonna keep trying, maybe one day. So I'm just gonna enjoy a little time outside. I took myself out to watch the sunset. That's pretty nice, huh? I mean, this looks fake. Wow. Good morning. It's Saturday today. I want to talk about the fact that when you are single, it's really easy to feel alone. And so one way to combat that is by trying to get involved and try and find a community. So I recently joined a junior women's group down here in Florida. Basically they do social activities, they do volunteer activities. It's like an adult sorority. And I went to one meeting so far and everyone was super nice, but today they are doing yoga in the park and I am gonna go, which is tough because I hate yoga. <laughs> I've done it a couple times and I like hanging out with people while I'm there, but I don't like doing the yoga part. It's just not for me. I think group exercise, I'm not into it and I'm pretty weak. So like a full hour of an, of an exercise, I can't do that. So today's yoga is an hour long and I told them that I would be late. So I'm just gonna get there about a half hour in, do a little bit of yoga and then hopefully socialize a bit afterwards. So that is my plan. When you are single, no one is gonna stick up for you. So you gotta make choices that are good for you like only going to half of an activity. So that was a bust. Um, I just got to the park, I drove around and I was looking to see where this group was and I couldn't find them and I'm like circling the park and then I parked and I'm like, where are they? And then I go back to check the email, it's tomorrow. So yeah, I guess I won't be socializing today. Guess I won't be talking to any human beings today. So now that my original plan for today didn't work out, I feel like my whole weekend is thrown off. Like I was gonna be social today, had some stuff for tomorrow, but now today is just like a big black hole. <sighs> so I think I'm gonna take a walk around a park that I'm nearby. Um, I just picked up a 
smoothie bowl to treat myself. Because sometimes when you're single, you gotta treat yourself. No one's gonna treat you. I guess the next way to fill your time when you're single is just to do something random, like take yourself on a little date in the park. We all know the number one way to fill your time as a single person is by binge watching TV. Is it healthy? No. Will it make your time fly by? No. Will it nourish your soul? No. Is it something to do? Yes. Happy Sunday. I am attempting yoga again. Yes, I'm wearing the same outfit because when you pick a good outfit, you gotta, you gotta stick with it. So heading over to yoga, wish me luck. Hopefully I have at least a, a marginally decent time and connect with some people. I did the yoga, I survived. I definitely could not have done a full hour, like would have collapsed and I'm a little sweaty. So I'm really glad that I came late. Chatted a little bit after, um, don't have the best friend from this yet, but hopefully planting small seeds, we shall see. Hi, it's Sunday afternoon and it is a gorgeous day today. It's like 78, sunny, it feels really hot. So I actually think I'm gonna spend time at the pool today instead of the beach because I love pools. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to do laundry while I'm down there at the pool because the laundry is down by the pool because you got to be productive too when you're single. That's an important thing because it can be very easy to be like, hmm, I don't need to do laundry. I need to clean because like no one's coming over. But you got to take care of yourself and your life. So laundry day today and some me time at the pool. My next pro tip for how to fill your time when you're single is to invest in your hobbies. I personally don't really have hobbies, so this is also a tough one for me, but something I do love is going to open houses. I'm gonna hit up this open house and fill my soul with real estate, and then I'm going to go to the beach and read, because reading is my other favorite hobby, and the beach can be a hobby too. You know, I hope one day I look back on this vlog when I'm like married, I have a couple kids, I haven't slept in days, and I'm like, I can't believe how much free time I used to have and how I was worried about filling it. Hopefully one day I'll get to that place, but right now I'm like, gosh, I'd like to have some kids and something to do with my time. Kind of funny. I guess the grass is always greener or whatever they say. Hello, it's Sunday night, and the best way to keep yourself occupied while you're single is to connect with your friends. I personally don't have many friends, but I do have a couple close friends from college, and we are doing a Zoom night tonight. So that is how I'm getting my social kicks in today, and thank goodness for friendship. Monday evening. I just finished up my work day. I'm still alone. 
And I think I'm gonna cook a real dinner tonight, which is saying a lot for me because I normally don't do that. It doesn't really feel necessary to cook a whole dinner for one person that I'll eat by myself watching YouTube within five minutes. But I'm gonna do it and uh, that'll fill some time until the next best thing of the night, which is watching The Bachelor. So I picked this up from Publix. Turkey breast strips with olive oil and herbs. And I think I just have to heat them up. So I'm doing that, some veggies, some rice, and hopefully that'll be a yummy little dinner. Voila, we have turkey, broccoli, peppers, onion, and some rice in here. And there's my dinner, ready to enjoy all by myself. I know I mentioned investing in your hobbies as a way to kind of fill your time. For me, doing puzzles is a hobby that I love. And I think that I have a lot of emotions to work through right now, just at this kind of like unstable, uncertain time in my life. And I don't always sit in those emotions and like really feel them and think through them. I'll just like brush them off and not deal with them. But puzzling allows me to be doing an activity where I can also be like thinking and processing. So I feel like it's really good for my mental health. And that is key to everything is taking care of your mental health. This is how I spend a lot of my time is just sitting with a puzzle and putting it together and thinking and processing and I just love it. Hey y'all, I survived a few days on my own. I actually had a really fun time and I felt like, oh yeah, I can be alone and be okay and fill my time. So this was actually really great. So I guess my last piece of advice is vlog your time alone because that'll really make your time fly by. Kind of funny this morning, I actually got a DM from someone you know how those MLMers on Instagram will just DM you and like pretend to be your friend so that they can sell you stuff? So this girl slides into my DMs and she's like, hey Liz, hope you're doing well. I saw you did a whole lot of nothing this weekend. Me too. And I was like, I actually worked really hard to do a lot this weekend. How dare you? You do not know my life. So that was kind of funny because I really did fill my weekend and I felt like it flew by and I felt very fulfilled and like I did a lot. So I'm really proud of myself for that. And yeah, I'm going to keep investing in things that I like to do and hopefully meeting new people. And we will just see where that leads. Obviously it helps that I'm in a really beautiful location where I can go outside. I am very grateful for that for sure, because that opens my world up a lot. So if you liked this video, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along. I'm on Instagram and I have a blog and all that. So yeah, stay in touch with me and thanks for watching. Bye.